Now, for example, if I want to earn, to keep, earn or accumulate one for every million peso that I want to accumulate, if my target is 20 years, I need, or 30 years, I need 10 million. For example, that's for my, uh, my retirement. Retirement, for okay. example. For every million, how much should I save? So I assess my risk Do you know that if you earn 20% every year, cumulatively, you only need to save 65 pesos a day for every million? Okay. So if you want 10 million, 650 pesos. That's less than 33 pesos a day. Right? That's, okay. that's, that's the amount you spend for smoking, maybe. Right. So if you can do it, if you can risk 60, 650 uh, a month, or 65 pesos uh, a month rather, 650 if it's 10 million that you're after. Right. So you, you can take a bigger risk, a little pay away. A month or a day? A month. A month, 650 in 30 month. years, right. Okay. Cumulative, at earning a 20%. Well, those have been had one guarantee. I'm just trying to demonstrate but that's risk even a assessment. But that's even a calculated risk. I mean, because it's not a risk as if, you know, it's a risk that you can actually really control. Well, you can control it in the sense that to get that 10 million, 650 pesos, is, I think, something you can risk. That's what you spend in one day in the morning. Right. So you can take that risk. Now, if that's the only money you have, then you won't take that risk to go after 20%. You'll go, a risk, you'll go after an investment that will generate 10% less risk. But you also know, uh, I, I hate to use this word, I'm really sorry, because this is not original, but you also know what is permissible risk. To generate wealth. Time is what we have. Of course. Rich or poor, we have 24 hours a day. Now, what do we do with time? That's a challenge. We can do use it by playing billiards every day. Just wait for the remittance of Mama on the 15th and enjoy. Billiard na naman. And 38th, meron na naman. That's happening. So you have happening. the choice, you have the choice and you have the power with what to do with the time. time. Okay. okay. Now, if you're saving, you, be, you accept the message that you have to pay yourself. You need time to grow that. That's the second one. The second. How do you grow it? Compounding your money. Compounding simply means leaving your money alone. If it's in an instrument that generates 10, 15 percent a year, leave it alone. Interest on interest, interest on interest. Roll your money. Okay. The third, because 95 percent of Filipinos really were not born with money, you know, intellectual capital and time. Maybe education over time. Which is fine. Which is fine. fabulous. That's wealth. That's, yes, it's that's wealth. That's a primary, uh, primary mover for wealth generation. Right, okay. We need to use the three kinds of uh, what I call leverage, or you, aniquas, huh? to give us more capital or resources. Three kinds of people leverage. If you have a, a like minded individuals, then we can learn from each other. I teach you my, what I know, you teach me what you know. We generate opportunities for us together, like cooperatives and other associations. All right. Then good debt, that's <laughs> leverage. You have 200,000 pesos to buy a particular franchise, you borrow another 200,000. So instead of making only, let's say, 100,000 every year, now you make 200,000, less whatever cost of debt. That's good debt. Magandang utang. In other good words. debt. Okay. Hindi yung debt na pinambili <laughs> ng bagong cellphone. At ipinambili ng bagong sasakyan. Ay, ba yan? Hindi ba? Na nag-depreciate. Okay, the third one. increases. The third one is bakas. Pooling. That's right. Hindi ba sa, hindi ba sa, which is mutual funds, for Alam example. Alam bakas tayo. Oh. 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 Ang minimum na investment, sige natin, 10,000. 1,000 lang pera ko eh. Bakas ako. Right. So okay. That's leverage. Mm. Okay. So if you don't have that minimum yet, start with this, what you have. Have that winning experience. Then it becomes a habit. Okay. Tatlo pa lamang po yun. Oh. The fourth Ang thing. Apat is the most important. Which is? What, what in finance is called asset allocation. Meaning don't put your eggs in one basket. The most powerful tool to manage risk. Okay. Can you be more specific with asset oh, allocation? Very simple example. Ako, panagbibiyahe ko sa isang lugar na hindi ko, I'm not familiar with. Yung pera ko, isang bulsa meron, sa isang bulsa meron, sa front pocket meron, sa wallet meron. Madukutan naman ako sa isa, 
Pwede pa. Totoo. That's asset allocation. Ay na-manage ko yung risk. That's right. So, the principle in asset allocation, yung mga ginagawa mo, sana hindi correlated. Meaning, independent factors siya. Bawa, nag-invest ka sa lupa, nag-invest ka sa stocks, nag-invest ka sa gold. Wala masyadong correlation yan. Ah, okay. That's the best. That's the ideal. Okay. That's the fund management principle. The best modern portfolio theory kung tawagin nila. The most uncorrelated. Tavax, and you don't even have to understand certain businesses because there are people who are experts who can help you understand of these course. businesses. Because kadalasan ang mindset, again, that mindset oh. is, I'm not going to go into a business, I'm not going to invest my money on a business that I do not understand. Correct. So tama lamang, may flower shop kami, nag-aantay kami ng dividends ngayon. Meron kami ditong Correct. agensya, meron ka ditong exactly. uh, asset, asset allocation yun. Asset allocation yun. Yung tawag na as, you manage risk, bumagsak mo na isa, angat na isa, you're okay. Right. Okay. The probability in lahat sila babagsak, hin ma mababa. And you're managing risk in the process. That is the way okay. to... Okay. There, there's a nagging question in my head right now. Kasi kanina, sa umpisa ng ating pag-uusap, sabi mo, for as long as you start to earn a uh, peso, uh, you can already apply uh, wealth management. Di ba? Correct. Halimbawa, I earn 12,000 a month. Okay. I can uh, hardly support my family. Pa pa paano ko gagawin yun? Halimbawa, Why do you say you can hardly support? Because I have five children, I'm sending them to school, okay. and you know, I can hardly, I, I cannot budget properly. In other words, at, at problema ito, uh, topaks ng maraming pamilya, okay. Okay. hindi kasya ang kinikita sa gastusin. Okay. That's true, and a lot of people are in that position. How come? Yung mga nire-refer sa amin, janitors that earn, that 8,000, 10,000, 12,000 are up to their next in debt, 60,000 in credit cards, 70,000. Pag tinatanong ko, saan mo ginamit? Sa binyag ng anak. Ha? Pinagsabay na lang niya, nakasave siya. Yung bagong panganak at saka yung one-year-old, nagpa-party siya. Nakasave siya. Masaya, masaya pa siya. Butag siya ng 6,000. Okay. Nung nilista namin, Lahat ng halos expenses, postponable or not even essential. Tapos sasabihin mo, hirap ka. The other, the other day, I was watching in one of your, one of your news, uh, news uh, cast. They were interviewing this lady, earning 10,000. Yung dalawa, ano, tsaka lang ang doon yung bilhin niya ng cellphone. Okay. Ng, I get a elevator. point, guys. I, I really get a point. I get a point. Yeah. But again, we really have to assess, we have to evaluate. Uh, Choose your lifestyle and have right. the discipline. Ganun ka simple. I think that's a very important commandment. Choose your lifestyle yeah. and live within your means. That's right. Basically. And that will improve. Toto. I And that also takes a lot of courage, a lot of humility, and a lot of honesty. Yeah. For the longest time, I thought that just by putting money in the bank was going to make me happy. You know, and I, I, I know this is shared by a lot of people uh, eavesdropping at this conversation. I didn't realize until I browsed through your book that money can actually work for you. How does that happen? We will learn when we come back. Here in Private Conversations with author, entrepreneur, and financial advisor, Topax Kolaiko. Stay with us back in a moment.